third league of the day four color control there's lots of different ways to build control in legacy and it doesn't have to be four colors there's two three and four color control in different various combinations they're almost always at least base blue white and then branch into other colors usually green and red although this one is i guess technically five color control but it's really only playing red for fourth aerolingus and two sideboard copies of red blast so uh, the basic commonalities you're going to see between all the control lists are, of course, Brainstorm and Ponder as card draw effect, usually sorts to Plowshares. Sometimes there will be Prismatic Ending and or Leyline Binding instead, but you're going to have some amount of, of course, removal spells. And then typical threats will be, uh, in this deck, we have Uro and Three Fairy. You may also see Jace, Big Teferi, uh, Comet, Minskin Boo like any sort of value engine planeswalker or creature can be played sometimes monastery mentor all kinds of different things this deck has terminus although you may see verdict instead of terminus depends and then of course you'll almost always see force of will and now lorian revealed this deck also specifically has drown in the lock and the one ring and this is a beanstalk version of the deck which means it's running more high cost stuff. So Leyline Binding, Lorien Force, and Terminus will all trigger the Beanstalk. There's Orcish Bowmasters. And then a common site in the green lists is a one of life from the loam that you can use to loop wastelands out of your opponent, uh, to wasteland the opponent out of the game. So even though we are literally four to five colors, you will still usually at least see one wasteland so you can loam loop it. Then the mana base is various mishmashes of all the colors we need including mystic sanctuary to put spells on top of the deck which is relevant for things like terminus or just getting back something that we've spent already you can also save stuff from graveyard hate by responding to it with mystic sanctuary this version of the deck also has two veil of summers main to combat other black and blue decks and then over here in the sideboard we've got surgical extraction for graveyards lavinia for the cheapo decks for blue decks, we've got more Veils, Carpet of Flowers, and Red Blast. And then Veil, of course, is also for black decks. Witherbloom Command as a catch-all for various things that we may want to destroy on our opponent's side of the field. And this is a Yorion deck, so we are playing 80 cards because Yorion can be relevant for things like Blinking Beanstalk, Blinking Bowmasters, Blinking Uro. Probably not, but can happen. You can reset Planeswalkers. You can uh, reset the Ring if you have to. Or it can just be a 4-5 that you get out of your sideboard. One note about this deck is it is so expensive on Moto that I actually had to change some cards in order to rent all the cards here. So these counter spells were supposed to be Force of Negations. This Narset was supposed to be a second Bowmaster. And these Red Blasts were supposed to be Pyroblasts. That's not really relevant, but those other swaps should be mentioned. Even so, again, there's about a million different ways you can build the deck, so any one of those cards is not strictly necessary. Anyway, let's jump into the third league of the day. All right, we're on the play for round one. Reveal Yorion. All right, this seems fine. What am I fetching? Savannah and Xander's Lounge, probably. All right, so let's keep... I probably don't need to Swords anything on turn one, but who knows. So let's play Delta, and then we'll go fetch... Xander's Lounge in all likelihood, unless we absolutely need to sword something. What deck are we playing? Four color, or I guess five color control. Tundra, Ponder. All right, end of turn, fetch Xander's Lounge. Hmm. All right, so go fetch Savannah, and then play Beanstalk. Beanstalk's Resolves, draw a card. All right, over to them. Misty Rainforest, Taiga. So are we facing the mirror here? Prismatic ending. So I guess the mirror, but they're not on a Yorion build. All right, so let's do fourth Aerolingus. Try to get that in. So Trop, 4th Aerolingus, X is 1. Go to Combat, Swing, and then Monarch, draw a card. Pass to them. Island. Is the deck called Blue White X Control on Moxfield? Yes. Or it, may, it might be called 4 Color Control now. I forget what it's named. It's either 4 or 5 Color Control or it's Blue White X Control. All right, so Nissa. That's interesting. I probably just want to Beanstalk bind that. So let's go, or Beanstalk, Swords, one of those two. All right, let's go Beanstalk. Beanstalk resolves. Counterspell. Well, I almost certainly just want to kill Nyssa right now. So, and I'm going to want to attack them, and I'm going to want to hold Mana open in case they play something with haste, like their own Aerolingus. So, although I do also have Force of Will. Hmm. Yeah, let's just Swords this. Swords Nyssa, and then Combat, Swing, and then End Step. 
Trigger the Monarch. Okay, opponent fetches. I guess I wish I'd held up, held up uh, Savan instead of Trop, or instead of Tundra, so I could have Veil vale slash whatever open. Swords our guy, yeah, that's fine. Fourth Aerolingus, sure. Well, I'm going to Swords that back. I want to hold on to Leyline Binding in case I need to deal with, like, a Planeswalker. All right, land, and then let me see. I can put Yorion in my hand, but then I don't hold up as much stuff if I do that. But I don't think it's correct to just pass just holding up interactions. So let's keep Drown open. Let's keep Drown. Can I keep Drown, Counterspell, and Binding open? Yes, I can. If I tap all of these, I can. So, but then I can't keep Veil vale open if I do that. So, okay, Yorion, this one, this one. I'm probably just Counterspelling whatever they're playing, right? And not using Binding. And this one. And then pass to them. Monarch trigger, we draw. Mystic Sanctuary, put back... Aerolingus, that's fine. Cast Lorien Revealed, definitely countering that. I can actually drown it, so drown black and blue. All right, so over to us. It's still correct not to tap out here, so let's... Then again, they only have two cards, and I know they're drawing fourth Aerolingus, although they can Lingus for X is three, so I have to counter it, so I'd have to force it. All right, let's just cycle Lorien Revealed, get some more lands. Let's see... I guess I can Mystic Sanctuary put Fourth Aerolingus back on top of my deck. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so Mystic Sanctuary, play Mystic, trigger, target my own Fourth Aerolingus, and then let's just pass to them. Monarch, and then we draw it. Flooded Strand, fetch, Volcanic, full tap out, counter spell. Yeah, all right, so we just outground them. Uh, control, Carpet, Veil, Red Blast. I don't really want to bring a Surgical just for Mystic Sanctuary. So what is bad? Probably swords for the most part. Uh, what else? Terminus. I probably need it to some degree if fourth Aerolingus resolves. Let's keep one of it. Hmm. And what else? One Leyline Binding. All right, submit. Reveal Yorion. Hmm, this hand's kind of awkward. I guess we have Lorien to cycle for stuff. So we can Lorien cycle for Volcanic and then have Red Blast open. All right, keep. Volcanic. Ponder. All right, Trop. Pass. Misty Rainforest. Weren't you wondering why your opponent was playing Wasteland and four-color four color control like a few matches ago? Yeah, because I didn't see Loam from them, and the games were going really long. Cyclorian revealed. Grabbing. I need red. So, Volcanic. And then... Ooh. Slay, so, okay. I need to fetch white next. So, a Volcanic. And then pass to them. Aerolingus is the best thing they could play here, because we can't actually answer it. I guess I could have, like, Wastelanded their Volcanic Island, but... Mm. Tundra. Taiga. Uro. All right, I'll blast that. Actually, you know what? No, yeah, I'll blast that. Denies them a card. Yeah, they get it back later, but I'll trade one for one. All right, Psychalorian revealed, and we need white, so I need to grab... And I need also more green sources, but I can't grab that really, so let's grab Tundra, and then over to me. So if Teferi resolves, that's huge, but I don't think I can guarantee that happening. I think it's better to try to resolve Uro, put Wasteland into play, and waste them off of their Tundra or their Taiga. All right, so let's play Uro, trigger, resolve the ability, put Wasteland into play, and then let's Wasteland them off of Tundra. It's better to Wasteland this for later on to stop Uro from coming back, but it's better to Wasteland the white source to stop fourth Aerolingus. Blooded Strand. All right, no play from them. Ooh, another Uro. So Delta. I can't escape Uro yet, so... Oh, wait, no, I can't escape it if I fetch. So let's just do that. Fetch. So I can grab Bayou, and then I have all my colors. Okay, so Bayou, Escape Uro, Green, Green, Blue, Blue, Eat the Graveyard, Red Blast. All right, back over to them. They're also able to escape it if they hit a land next turn, which I assume they will. And then we don't have as good of an answer, obviously, so we'll have to bind it. Or just Teferi bounce it, but that's also not good. Grabs Trop. All right. I would just be playing the game of chicken where we just pass back and forth, but I don't have any instant speed interaction other than brainstorm, so I may as well just... Yeah, so Uro comes back. Mm -hmm. They didn't have another land to put into play. Interesting. I don't have another white source. I can Lorien Revealed, go grab another Tundra, then play Teferi, and then even if it gets countered, just bind this. I don't think I'm going to have the time really to cast Lorien Revealed. All right, so cycle this, cycling away... Or cycling via Bayou. Let's grab another Tundra. Play Tundra. Play Teferi. White, blue, another color. Does this resolve? It does resolve. Uh, I'm going to... Let's see. 
If I plus, they can get rid of it by using prismatic ending, and then I don't have a card drawn. That's okay. It's just so much better if I like, now, okay, let's just draw a card. I need to maybe even draw um, Force of Will. Maybe it's even correct to just bounce this, even though they get another card out of it. Nah, that can't be correct. All right, let's just target nothing. Draw, then over to them. Carpet of Flowers, okay. Well, I still have to bind their Uro. So binding, target Uro. Make a whole bunch of mana with carpet on the second main. Four blue, ponder. Cast their Teferi. Bounce Leyline Binding, trigger Uro, but it didn't escape, so they will have to get rid of it. Puts a land into play, still have four mana, five mana. Fetch. Mystic Sanctuary, putting Red Blast on top, presumably. Yeah, Red Blast. Lorien revealed to draw, so they have a Red Blast and a bunch of unknown cards. Ring's pretty good. All right, plus Teferi. Uh, so let's see, I, what do I need? I need to hold up Binding, because I need to bind Teferi, probably. Who knows? I also need to bind Carpet of Flowers, though, otherwise I just get way too much mana. I'm playing the ring probably no matter... Oh, no, actually, I can I can bow masters to fairy and then bind the carpet. But if I do that, I can't ring. So I probably just bow masters to fairy and then and have ring out. Okay, so ring, I guess. All right, let's, let's fetch uh, underground C. And let's go ring here, 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 here. Trigger, draw a card. Oh, did I accidentally tap the black mana? Oh, my God, I accidentally tapped the black mana. Well, all right, let's bind to fairy. Target this. Yeah, all right, pass to them. So this is getting blasted for sure. Yeah, red blast. I guess I'll brainstorm in response. Ooh, we did draw force. Okay, um, land back, land back. I will force this. Force, pitch, second arrow. Flooded strand, fetch, savannah. Recast arrow from graveyard. Go to 24, get another land into play. They still haven't even used carpet. Island. Are they going to lingus now or teferi? Prismatic, the teferi, okay. All right, ring. Um, yeah, draw more cards with the ring. Man, that's so not good. I'm one card off from being able to escape Uro. Mm. So I have to cycle Xander's Lounge. Cycle, and then I need to have double green plus double blue open. So cycle, another ring. All right, escape Uro. Green, green, blue, blue. Eat everything in the graveyard. Triggers. Put in, miss, put in island. All right, over to them. Carpet. Oh, carpet targets? Huh, so you can you can counter it by playing a ring, eh? Swords are guy, sure. And then their Uro gets to attack. That's fine. I'm drawing an absolute gargantuan amount of cards off the ring, so I should be able to pull ahead of them at some point. 22, carpet, bunch of green mana, plays Beanstalk, ponder, ring. So they ha do have their own ring. So they're the same deck, they're just not running Yorion. Red, green, a bunch, all the colors. Omnath? Omnath. All right, ring, go to 20. Life from the Loam. All right, draw with the ring. There's Terminus, which I can actually hard cast, although I can't necessarily get it past a counter. Huh, so let's see, what's the best? Okay, so I have my own Drown in the Lock to drown their counter spell back, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is enough to go Ponder, Terminus, Drown up. All right, so Fetch Land, Ponder. Force of Will is a good card to have in general. The other two, not so much though. So I can draw force and then shuffle the other two back, right? So let's put this, this, and this. No shuffle. Draw the force of will and then fetch because I don't want to just draw more lands. Um, Savannah. Then white this. Another white. I need to keep black open. So that keeps drown and bowmasters open. So terminus. Opponent forces back. I'll force back. Oh wait, no, I'm not forcing back. I'm going. I'm uh, drowning back. Right? They have five cards in their yard. Drown counter the force black and blue and pyroblast all right they had more than we did i know they have a better board and the ring and more mana that's a problem six white mana with carpet omnath i guess if they air lingus here we're dead right fetch to fairy mm -hmm. bouncing their own ring replay the ring ponder so without knowing anything else that's going on my game plan is loam back a fetch land play it Fetch Sanctuary, put Terminus on top, draw during their turn with the ring, Miracle it, Beanstalk, Swing, Uro Triggers, we go to 9, Omnath Triggers in combat, they got Wasteland, okay. These are the kind of matchups where my eyes start to glaze over, it's like everyone has a million cards and mana and the game's just going on forever. Alright, Ring, we go to 6, draw for turn, All right, Loam these back, play Fetch Land, all right, I can't Miracle with Teferi out. God damn it. All right, so I have to Bowmaster now to kill Teferi. Okay, so black. 
this one. Cast Bowmasters, target to fairy. So then I need to stop in my opponent's upkeep. Actually, no, I need I need to do it at beginning of combat step because if they fourth their lingus, I need to, to get rid of that. So yeah, ring 29, carpet, made five blue, draw with the ring. Bowmaster, Bowmaster. Um, I think targeting them at this point is kind of pointless. I'm not sure. Maybe it's point. If, if my plants determine any terminus anyway, then I may as well target them. So yield to the Bowmaster triggers. Casts Brainstorm, really? All right, I'll keep targeting them. Target you, target you, target you. Omnath trigger, whole bunch of mana. Fourth Aerolingus trigger the Beanstalks. Yep, Beanstalk trigger, this targets them. Man, with how much cards they're, how many cards they're drawing, I could have just shot their creatures to death, I guess, but I didn't know how many cards they were gonna draw, so. Target them, Lingus resolves. All right, beginning of combat, fetch, Mystic Sanctuary, trigger, targeting, Terminus, then ring, do not dredge the loam. I would like to reveal Terminus and Miracle. All right, Terminus, wait, what? Why can't I cast it? I had to float mana before doing it? What? Why can't I do it during com during the cast of the, the spell? What are you talking about? Yeah, pay, pay white. Okay, there we go, Jesus. Force negation, the problem is if I force this back, then I'm dead to my ring on draw step. And I'm just one land short of being able to force normally. All right, well, whatever. And we're dead anyway. They had all the counter spells. All right, look at this draw. We drew land, 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 beanstalk. Jesus. Um, all right, so they're playing Omnath. So that's more creatures that I want to kill at instant speed with Exile. So swords is good, actually. But all this, all these other cards are still good. So it's like, what else do I cut? Do I cut Leyline Binding? Since no, because they're running the ring as well. I want to be able to bind the ring. It's like everything's good. So what do you cut? Maybe just like the worst draw spells, ponder, I don't know. Maybe just like have some copies of each. Yeah, I don't know. All right, let's do that. Submit. No green mana, no any mana to do anything with this hand, Moldus. All right, let's not go to five. So let's just put back, I don't know, Tundra. Land, go. Tundra, ponder. End of turn, fetch Xander's Lounge. Untap. Land, go. Misty Rainforest. End of turn, fetch. Grab Savannah. Over to us. If I just jam a Teferi into play, there's absolutely no way they don't have a counter for it. And then it just gives them the go-ahead to cast stuff on their turn. So let's just put Yorion in my hand. Yorion in hand, go. And then I still force a will up at least. Taiga. Opponent fetches. Tropical Island. Teferi. Well, I have to counter that. So target with Yorion. Pitch Yorion. All right, it instantly countered it. Huh. R Teferi or Ring, either one resolving is just insanely good. Ring's better, and ring protects me from Aerolingus. So let's let's go land, fetch, uh, grab Tundra, play ring. It immediately resolved. I wasn't expecting that. All right, draw a card. Over to them. Volcanic. They got their own ring. Yeah, there's their own ring. All right, they draw. All right, battle of the rings. Trigger. Uh, let's see. I want to get Force of Will in my hand so I can resolve to fairy. So let's flooded, fetch, grab Mystic Sanctuary. Put Force of Will back on top. Then we go to Fairy, holding open, drown in the lock. Oh, I actually cancel. So I, then I draw. All right, then we play to Fairy, ho holding up, drown in the lock. So I need to hold up Xander's plus another thing. So three Fairy, bounce your ring to your hand, and then pass with drown slash Force of Will up. I do actually have to kill them. I'm half as much on the clock as they are. Brainstorm. So we need to find Aerolingus or Uro in a fairly timely manner. Savannah, Prismatic, drown that. All right, back to us, ring trigger, plus to fairy, draw, beanstalk, trigger the beanstalk, huh. Um, let's brainstorm, put back one of the two rings and a land, then play another land. And I have to, I still have to go to discard here, hmm. All right, let's just discard this redundant ring. I'm running out of time to think, so I just need to start playing faster. Omnath, drown that, black, blue, Misty Rainforest, Brainstorm, Fetch. All right, pass to us, we lose some life. Draw, plus, probably need to play a new ring at this point, because otherwise I'm gonna lose too much life. So new ring, draw. Can't believe I haven't drawn a threat by now. Brainstorm, now let's brainstorm with, uh, yeah, this one's fine. Brainstorm, put back, land, land, play a land, and then just pass, what am I discarding? Beanstalks, probably. Beanstalk, Beanstalk. 
land. I'm gonna time out, aren't I? I guess I could get Yorion, but blast that. Counter, plays another land. Fetch, ring, sure, ring resolves. Activation on the stack, cast binding. Trigger the beanstalk, draw a card. Binding, bind your ring. Oh, I need to kill them fast. Ring trigger, draw, plus to fairy. Narset, play a land. Get Yorion into my hand. Why can't I get Yorion? Get Yorion. For some reason, it won't let me get Yorion. All right. Well, that being the case, I guess I just passed to them. All right, I exiled Yorion. Duh. Makes sense. Oh, I didn't even use Narset. Yeah, let's just force this. Draw with the Beanstalk. Yeah, I'm just going to die to time. I just don't have enough time to think or perform enough actions to actually kill them. All right, cast. Lorien. Ring. I can't believe we haven't drawn Uro yet. Ring. All right. Bounce my ring. Land. Fourth Aerolingus. Red. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. This one, this one, done. Play a bunch of things. Go to combat, swing, sure. Trigger, Mario since Narset, force of will. All right, pass, discard a whole bunch of stuff. This one, 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 this one. Oh my God, how many more do I need? This one. All right, we've got uh, barely any time left. Mystic Sanctuary, sure, that resolves. Gets Bread Blast back. Okay, fine. Red Blast Narset, that's fine. Cast Beanstalk, sure. Plays a land. Cast Lorien Revealed. Counter that. Pitch, counter spell. Yeah, I I've passed priority. Okay, there we go. Combat, swing. Oh, thank God. 14 seconds left. All right. Well, we narrowly won round one, but do you see what I mean? Where it will just like hang on priority, even though I like, I have sixth there and it will just hang for no reason, wasting time. All right, round two, we are on the draw. That's why I hate to play control on Moto, but I do it anyways. Mm. This hand's okay. We have Force, we have a really good bomb, or draw engine rather. Volcanic, Ponder. Part of it is also that I think faster when I don't think out loud, and I also make decisions faster when I don't have to verbalize them all. So part of it is the stream, where I'm trying to verbalize everything for the audience so that they understand like why I'm, what I'm thinking, why I'm thinking through certain things. I don't want to Ponder in case I don't hit another blue spell, but at the same time, yeah, I should probably just play Tundra and pass. Let's do that. I don't know what I'm playing against yet, because if it's Delver, I'm fine pondering, but if it's Show and Tell, I'm not. Ponder. Wasteland. Oh, they could just Wasteland us. Yeah, Wasteland us on upkeep, sure. All right, now that I have Narset, now I'll ponder. So, ponder. Um, all right, so this, this, this. Don't shuffle, and then back to them. So that way I have Bowmaster next turn, and then Ring, or I can shuffle the Ring away. Another Wasteland, sure. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. I can Swords that. Planes. I guess let's just swords it now. Swords. All right, back to them. So it is Delver. Plays Merc Tide. All right, counter. Huh. All right. Um. We'll just bow masters either on instep or in response to a draw spell. Volcanic. All right. End of turn. So let's go fetch underground sea. Cast bow masters. Target you. Bolt it in response. Sure. Ooh, beanstalk. All right. So fetch. Um. So I need green. So tropical island. I guess if they flash a Bowmasters in in response to this, I don't want to bean. I don't want to attack them first. So swing. All right, Beanstalk trigger. All right, over to them. So they're Grixis Delver, so they definitely have Bowmasters in their deck. Delver or DRC rather. Another land. All right, slamming the ring. Ring. Ring resolves. All right, go to combat. Swing. They're gonna block. Okay, and then fetch. Sure. I don't care about losing this token. They fetch. That's fine. Oh, I guess I should have ringed in response to that just in case Bowmaster's out. All right, upkeep draw. All right, Swords is a great draw. Wasteland. They have to attack even though it does no damage. Ring trigger. All right, draw with the ring. Hmm. All right, I have to have another access. I have to have access to Black Mon in case they Wasteland the Underground Sea. So let's play Delta and let's stop them on their upkeep. Upkeep Swords. Responds, hard cast Force of Will. Surveil resolves. And then they gave us just enough to cast Drown in the Lock. Cool. All right. Black, blue. Counter your force. Swords. All right. Okay, we win this game. They obviously, they can't beat the value of the ring. So Delver, I want Carpet, Veil, Red Blast. Nothing else. And I don't want what? All of my removal is good. All of my counter spells are good. All of my draw engines are good. Okay, I probably don't want to play Narsa, even though they have draw spells. It's just like a Plains... Nah, I guess I do want to play Narset. Hmm. Okay, Force of Will is not good against them. So cut Force of Will. 
and what else the fact that they can delve away their graveyard makes drown worse because sometimes it just does it's not going to do anything so i can cut some of that maybe just like three copies of that wild to see witherbloom command and legacy yeah not really sure i guess this is here for like stacks pieces and just other random things you want to hit and it can randomly kill x1 creatures we probably have plenty of removal in this matchup so counterspell i'm also a little iffy on especially on the draw against a wasteland deck that's also another reason that Narset's maybe not so great, but I think this is all probably fine. All right, let's run this. So, Yorion. Yeah, this is fine. Bobble. Polluted Delta. All right, Mishra's Bobble. Hmm. I'm probably not blasting anything on turn two, so let's just ponder right now. Huh. I definitely want more lands, and Lorien Reveals is good too. So, let's go uh, this one, this one, this one. No shuffle. Back over to them. I don't have a Taiga, so I can't fetch for both Veil and Red Blast, but I can fetch depending on which one I need. Probably Trop. All right, well, Wasteland, Underground Sea, Delver. Okay, so let's see. Oh, Daze is so annoying. Um, hmm. If I'm not going to Swords it right now, then I may as well fetch Volcanic and Ponder and then grab Savannah on my turn and then try to do it. Okay. Although I know I'm drawing another land, right? And I want to draw another land. All right, let's just pass to them. Delver, what do they hit? They didn't flip it. So Delver, I should probably try to kill this on the end step. Eh, no, okay, let's draw. So we're drawing a land, right? Oh, Lorien revealed, same same difference. Land, and then over to them. Delver trigger, still didn't flip. All right, take one, go to 18, plays another land, casts DRC. I'm sourcing that rather than Delver. All right, so I need to, f I need to grab savannah and underground sea no i need to grab volcanic volcanic and savannah all right so fetch volcanic fetch savannah and then we swords this one all right i'll blast this one no i'm not gonna blast that i should cycle lorian revealed to ensure that i hit a land cycle lorian revealed and then i can grab my black source which is underground sea then untap all right underground sea they didn't counter either of those or they didn't counter the swords rather but that's because I had Days Mana to pay for, so they could just have Days. So it's still probably correct to wait, so let's just wait. Delver still didn't hit it, so they're going to fetch on upkeep so they don't draw whatever it is that they were about to draw. All right, holding up Red Blast in case I need to blast a Murktide. All right, end of turn, blast this. Untap, definitely not revealing Terminus. All right, land. If I grab, I can't grab Mystic Sanctuary because I have Savannah in play. So fetch Tundra and cast a... Fairy. I should have Veil of Summer up. Yeah, so cast Teferi with Veil. Three mana, force negation. Cast Veil. Veil resolves. This resolves. Plus Teferi. Go. Brainstorm. Wasteland. Not using it to hit my land, though. Just cycling Lorien Revealed. So my turn is probably Uro and then Ponder. Or Ponder, then Uro. One of those. Brainstorm. Sure. Bobble. Pyroblast Teferi. Well, that's why you usually minus. I didn't minus, though, because it meant that they could just bow master it to death. I feel like it's almost always correct to just minus to fairy. All right, Trop Veil's pretty good. So let's go land, Uro. Which land do I need to hold up the most? Green and blue, right? I guess I'm going to ponder instead because I might find something better. Ponder. Beanstalk and carpet are really good. All right, so this one, this one, carpet, no shuffle. So I can play carpet, and then I can go to the second main phase, target them, make three mana. And I'm one short of being able to cast and escape Uro. So let's cast Carpet, then go to the second main phase. Trigger. Always yes. Oh, actually, no. Well, I guess it is always yes, right? But it's just whether you want to trigger it. Okay, so yes. And I would like green mana so I can hold up, up a Veil. So cast Uro, uh, tapping Volcanic. Then these trigger, draw a card, and then can't put a land into play, and then it dies. And then we cast Beanstalk, trigger. Oh yeah, so I needed to maybe stack? No, because I needed to draw Beanstalk. All right, so then pass back over to them. I don't think Veil matters on this board, but that's fine. Volcanic, here comes Murktide. Mm-hmm. I'm probably going to Veil here just to draw a card. Yeah, all right. Veil to draw. Wasteland, targeting something. One of our trops. Okay, targeting Volcanic. Did they, Wait, they targeted their own Volcanic? What? Okay. Yeah, so let's use the ability making... Oh, they targeted their own one so that I couldn't get as much mana off carpet. That seems like a terrible play. All right, blue, and then let's escape Uro. 
green, green. Getting rid of Teferi, no, not lands. Teferi, ponder, ponder, uh, land, and uh, one another land, done. So triggers, draw a card, put this land into play, then cast Lorien Revealed here. That seems good. I don't, strictly speaking, need to kill Murktide right now. So let's just cast the Lor Lorien Revealed and draw four cards. All right. Um, I haven't played a land return, right? So land, fetch. They're just not responding to anything. So I assume they just don't have any interaction. So let's swords that. All right, over to them. I mean, getting rid of your own lands to stop your opponent from having carpet, like when I already have this many lands, just seems like a horrible play. All right, on to round three. Round three on the play. Only one land, although we have Lorien revealed, so it's fine. Okay, so keep this. So we go Tundra, Cycle, then play Beanstalk probably. All right, Tundra, go. Do you like it so far? It's a value pile, so it seems like you would. I like it except for just how unbelievably long it takes to, to finish games with it which I would normally be fine with if we were playing in paper, but on Moto, when you have a clock to consider, I don't like it. I play faster in paper than I do online. All right, so it's an Ancient Tomb deck. Patchwork Automaton. So eight cast is the only deck I can think of that plays this. Yeah, it's eight cast. All right, Bobble, 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 Opal. It's quite the hand you got there. Sack the Bobble, reveals Lorien Revealed. Sack the Bobble, reveal Narset. All right, end of turn, cycle Lorien Revealed. I need to find green, so let's grab Trop, then untap, draw, uh, the Bobbles trigger, Swords to Plowshares, it has Ward 2, I can't target it yet, so land, I guess I can technically target it if I Lorien revealed, so I'd want to guarantee that I find another land, so let's Island Cycle, Lorien, and then Ponder, so Lorien, let's go grab, huh, at this point, Underground Sea, I guess, or maybe just another green or white source, another green source for Uro when I eventually get it online. All right, let's grab another Trop and let's ponder. Binding, Counterspell, Lorien Revealed. Well, these are all, well, okay, Binding's not good with our current loadout, but it's fine. I'm most likely to want a Binding next turn, if anything. So let's, I'm also very likely to want a Lorien Revealed. So let's go Counterspell on the bottom, then Binding, then Lorien, don't shuffle over to them. Ancient Tomb, Chalice of the Void X is one. Well, that's annoying, but it indeed happens. So Swords is a dead card. I can still bind it next turn though, or actually, yeah, I can still bind it next turn. I can also just like bind the Chalice and then Swords it the next turn. So I go draw, bind, draw, land, pass, or draw, Lorien. I guess I would rather have Beanstalk in play when I Leyline Binding, but then I'm not doing anything else. Hmm. I probably don't have the time to do that, right? So I probably just have to bind this and then... I probably have to go Lorien, find another land, bind this, untap, swords the, the patchwork. All right. So take six, go to 14, cracks the bobble. They see that we were drawing binding. They have exactly the mana to uh, Metallic Rebuke. So Lorien revealed, Island Cycle. Uh, Bowmasters or Aerolingus would both be fine. So let's grab Underground Sea. I guess Xander's Lounge pays for this too, right? I'm just going to cast this. So all right, Xander's Lounge, play Xander's Lounge. Am I doing this on upkeep? Probably. All right, binding. So if they have metallic rebuke, they have to use it now. Opponent's really thinking over what they want to do in response to this. All right, so there's metallic rebuke. Metallic rebuke, okay. I can't pay for it, obviously. So back over to them. See to this a nod. Doesn't ward stop targeting? Yeah, it stops me from hitting it unless I pay another two, but the chalice of the void is just straight up stopping me. So I need to get rid of that before I can swords anything. So we go to seven and then this is lethal alone. Although I can Uro, but then any artifact makes it lethal again. I might have to Swords my... No, I can't Swords anything right now. I was thinking I had to Swords my own Uro, but I can't Swords because of Chalice of the Void. So we might just be straight up dead here. I play Uro, I go to 10, Uro dies, and then I have to exactly draw Leyline Binding to Leyline Bind the Thought Monitor. And then if they have any two, any three artifacts, we're dead. So I should play Trop first and then play Uro. So Uro triggers, resolve the ability... We drew a Tundra. We're just dead to literally them casting any artifact. So yeah, we're dead. All right. Oh, well, that was a pretty dumb turn one from them. So let's see. Veil vale is slightly useful. Witherbloom Command is also kind of useful. Gets rid of Chalice of the Void. Lavinia stops them from casting zero drop stuff. So that's also useful. Surgical, Blast, and Carpet are really not useful. 
Although Blast, no, Blast kills what? Kappa Cannoneer, Emery, Psy. So it is relevant to some extent. So the cards that are not relevant are what? I already have two Veils main. I probably don't need more. That leaves all my removals good. Fourth Aerolingus is, can still be relevant for blocking stuff, but is generally not going to be good. So let's not have that. Let's not have counter spells. They tend to dump their hand pretty fast. So I want, let's see, Wither Bloom, Blast, and one Lavinia. I don't need as much of like card advantage engines against them, I don't think. So that can mean I can go down on the Beanstalks maybe or Drown. Hmm. It's got one Beanstalk, one Drown. Actually, Narset, they have Thoughtcast, Thought Monitor, so it is relevant to stop them from doing that stuff. Teferi is relevant, gets rid of Chalice of the Void. All right, let's do that. Submit. I also obviously could have drawn Terminus. Like, I had to draw into Terminus or Leyline Binding that last game. All right, on the plate, Yorion, only a basic planes, Mole. All right, this is okay. It, the lands are kind of awkward. Keep and put back. I don't want to put back Ring or Force, and I don't want to put back a land, although Mystic Sanctuary is a pretty awful land to have in the opening hand. All right, let's get rid of Mystic and then just try to draw into more lands with these cards. So done. Let's go Underground Sea, Ponder. Swords, Blast, Lorien Revealed. I can cast Blast. I can't cast Swords. I probably need to cycle next turn. So let's draw Lorien. Swords is maybe relevant. So this one, this one, this one. No shuffle. Over to them. Ancient Tomb. Patchwork Automaton. All right, I guess let's counter it. Counter your Patchwork. They are not doing anything else, I guess. All right, so I'm about to draw Swords to Plowshares. So let's just play this and then decide whether we want to cycle on their turn. Second Ancient Tomb. Chalice on one. Well, I'm definitely cycling now. So yeah, Chalice on one. Opal. Bobble. Plays Emery. Oh yeah, Chalice, we can't blast it now. Mills over. A bunch of stuff. All right, Lorian cycle. And I need to grab a white source, but also a green source. Leyline Binding is probably more relevant than any of the green cards I could draw, although Uro is relevant. Leyline Binding is more relevant if I find that to bind the chalice and then blast this. So let's grab Tundra. All right, well, we're continuing to just draw a bunch of nothing. So let's get Yorion and over to them. This, si this de list doesn't side one or two Seeds of Innocence. It does not. It probably should. Seeds of Innocence, Serenity, Meltdown, one of those. So they can cast Thought Monitor or Patchwork, both of which are pretty good for them. I at least get to get the ring out next turn. Maybe, if they don't have Metallic Rebuke. They are targeting Thought Monitor. It costs them what Thought Monitor costs four right now so they tap they have to tap both ancient tombs and mox opal so thought monitor draw some more see to the synod oh, they still have metallic rebuke up i can't just not cast the ring so obnoxious all right yeah bobble reveal the ring well we're gonna play the ring anyway bobble draw we drew ley line binding okay that might be better so land fetch go grab trop so now we have all of our colors so let's stop on upkeep I guess if I, the problem is if I stop on upkeep, then they can still activate Emery, but hmm. They, they must have Metallic Rebuke. So unless they have... So this fails if they have double Metallic Rebuke, I guess. All right, let's pass over to them and stop them on their upkeep. If they want to activate Emery and cast Patchwork, that's fine. All right, upkeep, cast Binding. With three mana open to pay for Rebuke. All right, target Chalice of the Void. Another cool thing is that if I get to five mana, I can Yorion blink the Ley Line and then the chalice will come back on zero, countering all their zero stuff, and I can ley line something else. All right, well, there's no reason to blast Emery right now, so let's just wait until they do stuff. Urza Saga. I would hold blast to get the ring out if I knew I was going to draw a land, but since I don't know that, it's probably better to just try to blast Emery. Emery targeting Urza's Bobble. Mm -hmm. Whole bunch of mana. Are they casting Kappa? So they're casting Urza's Bobble first to what? Have the mana open for Metallic Rebuke? I mean, yeah, okay, sure. If they're going to rebuke, they're going to rebuke. There's no way around it. All right, blast that. Then they're going to rebuke it. Mm-hmm. Sure. Can't pay. At least I get to resolve the ring now, presumably. Fifth land. Huh. Or I could play Yorion. Hmm. Let's play Yorion. Yorion, trigger. Get rid of ley line. Yeah, trigger that. Sure. I'm going to ley line Emery instead. Yorion, trigger. Ley line comes back. Eat Emery. And Urza Saga's on, so basically Ring has to resolve, and then I have to draw quite the sequence of outs on here. They can also just make Kappa unblockable via Urza Saga. Second Urza Saga. Patchwork. Okay. 
Yeah, my only out here is basically I have to ring into Terminus. That's the only way I can get out of this horrible situation. Plays Opal, which count, which gets countered, but it grows Patchwork, sure. Combat, can't block the Kappa. Yet another Made for Commander card that's actually just a Legacy All-Star instead of a Commander card. No blocks, can't block, go to 11. Targets us with the Bobble, sure. So they know we have the ring. Ooh, Swords to Plowshares. I can Swords this, but then they still make a Karnstruct. I have to spend all of my mana to Swords this. So it's way better to just play the ring. Okay, so play ring. Fog trigger, draw. I guess I should have waited and, and drawn on their turn just in case I hit Terminus. All right, over to them. I can't Swords either of these. So I'm probably... I might actually just Swords my own Yorion to gain life. I'm not sure. Saga Saga. If they have a Needle in their deck, they'll just Needle the Ring, and then we're completely screwed. All right, make another Karnstruct. All right, what are they fetching? Oh, they fetched Shadow Spear? Okay, so they don't have a Needle. I'm probably just going to Swords nothing in that case, because I have another Ring to play. All right, Ring Trigger. We go to 10. Draw Swords for turn. All right, draw more cards. Another Ring. So play a new Ring. Keep new Ring. Fog Trigger. Draw a card. Okay, I can... Flooded, Mystic Sanctuary, none of that matters. I guess I can Mystic Sanctuary ponder onto my deck, right? So Flooded Strand, and back over to them. Make another Karnstruct. Um, I guess I'm going to go fetch Sanctuary right now. Actually, no, I can't grab Sanctuary right now because I... Oh yeah, that's fine. Okay, so Mystic Sanctuary, put Ponder back on top. All right, and then they do their thing. Huge amount of power on the board. So, Battle of the Cancer Victims, uh, our ring cancering them, their Urza Saga cancering us. Grab Soul Guide, apparently. Targets Red Blast, sure, that's fine. There's no way that I can Swords anything in play to where I don't die, so I should just Swords my own Yorion to gain life, to offset the ring. All right, Swords my own Yorion. All right, untap, ring, go down to 12, draw Ponder, draw with the ring. All right, Ponder. None of that is going to help us out here, so let's shuffle. Drew another Ponder. All right, let's make sure that I have Ring in play. So land, Ring, third Ring of the game. Force of Will. All right, Veil of Summer. Glad I kept that up. Drew Wasteland. Not that that matters now. All right, Ring, Enter, Keep New Ring, Fog. I should do it on their turn so I can potentially hit Terminus. So let's pass over to them. Shadow Spear on the Kappa, sure. So end of turn, ring. Drew to fairy. Draw. Another ring. <laughs> Draw with the ring. We have loam. All right. So land, cast to fairy. Bounce my ring. Draw force of will. Play another ring. Holding up red blast. Fog again. And then there's no reason to draw right now because I would have to discard. So I guess ponder. And then I'm going to try to set up a terminus. So ponder. None of the Terminus applies. All right, so let's shuffle. Drew Volcanic. All right, over to them. On a scale of one to Cancer, how Cancer is this game? Ancient Tomb, which they can't really afford to tap either. All right, they can attack our Teferi and gain a bunch of life, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, their Ancient Tombs are back online. Sure. Yep. All right, end of turn draw. We'll draw Terminus at some point, hopefully. Ring, go to 10. Oh my god. All right. <sighs> I don't actually have double white. I have one fetch land in my graveyard, or two fetch lands in my graveyard. Oh my god, so I can play Narset, and if Narset fails, play another ring. So let's draw with the ring first thing. Oh my god, all right. Um, I definitely need to get another ring down. So ring, tap, 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 tap. New ring, fourth ring of the game. Keep the new ring, trigger. Then let's play Narset, minus Narset. Finally, Terminus. All right, um, so land, and then I guess we just go to cleanup, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We discard loam and beanstalk, or loam and swords, maybe. All right, over to them. Cleanup, loam, sword, plays an island, attacks Narset. May as well try to Miracle Terminus right now. So draw, uh, not dredging. We drew four, so we'll, all right, Narset dies. End of turn. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. I don't think anything, right? I guess I can ley line binding there. Oh, I actually don't have a second white source, right? So I need DeLorean revealed for a white source. So let's, hmm. I forgot they had Soul Guide Lantern in play. 
Oh, all right, let's ley line binding, target soul guide, and then they'll just pop it in response to eat our graveyard, presumably. Yeah, exile the graveyard. All right, and then we cycle Lorien revealed to go grab a second white source because somehow we don't have a second white source. So grab Tundra, go to our turn, ring, Tundra, hard cast Terminus. White, white, this one, this one, this one, this one. Terminus, get rid of all your guys. All right, and then, uh, I don't know, draw with the ring, play Beanstalk. We've actually lost three of our rings and our Teferi, right? So this ring, I have to out damage it via Uro or something. All right, uh, over to them, clean up Forest. We still have 39 cards in our deck. Plays that, blast it. Cast Metallic Rebuke, force that. Exiling Force, drawing a card off of Beanstalk. We do Lavinia, okay. Then we go down to six with the ring. Now we drew Terminus. After all that garbage, now we drew Terminus. All right, we need to draw Uro, so let's just draw. How have we not hit Uro yet? All right, Brainstorm. Holy crap, still have not drawn it. All right, put back, land, land. Then, oh, I don't even know what I draw now. I just need to hit Uro as fast as possible, right? Or else I'm just dead to the ring. So I need to draw as many cards as I can as quickly as I can which means I should cast Lorien Revealed here, but I also don't want to draw two lands, so I need to fetch and go to five. All right, so what lands do I even have left in my deck? I must have fetchable lands left, right? So Delta, fetch, grabbing Mystic Sanctuary, putting Brainstorm back on top, right? Trigger, grab Brainstorm, use the ability, then cast Lorien Revealed. So cast blue, blue, this one, this one, this one. Draw three cards. So draw a card off the beanstalk, draw another three cards. Oh my God, how have we not gotten there yet? <sighs> I can, what, drain two, mill myself, try to mill Uro over? All right, ponder. Oh my God, shuffle. How the F have we not drawn Uro by now? All right, Witherbloom command. Oh, I can't cast Witherbloom anymore. Uh, cast Lavinia, whatever. Now cast Brainstorm, cast Brainstorm. There's Uro finally, holy crap. Put two lands back, cast Uro, trigger. Yield to the ability, yield to the ability, put a land into play, and then we have to switch turns. I'm going to run out of time. <laughs> Discard, uh, well, I don't know, land, Veil, Lavinia. All right, over to them. I don't have any possible interaction, so just F6 through their turn. All right, ring trigger. We go to five. Escape Uro. Green, green, blue, blue. Get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this get rid of this get rid of this done Uro escapes trigger yield to the abilities put a land into play put a land into play and go hmm. all right they're just f6ing back to us so bow masters i guess not force a will sure no combat attack with Uro. put this land into play and go we have many turns left of Uroing them all right let's just always yield to this so we can speed up combat swing trigger land into play Back over to them. Discard Beanstalk. They do nothing. All right. We're going to run out of freaking time, but whatever, what can we do? Ring. Combat. Swing with a row. Triggers. Put a land into play. They're at 11. Pass. Discard a Terminus. Plays Emery. Sure. Emery. That's fine. All right. Swords it. Back over to us. Ring. Combat. Swing. Put a land into play. Hit them. All right. One more attack should kill them. Nothing on their side. Go to combat, swing. All right, now we have a game three to play and we're at less time than they are. So let's see. The fastest, I need to switch my deck around so that I have the potential to win faster. So let's play Lavinia, Aerolingus. Uh, let's see, Drown can come back in. And then we need to basically just cut anything that's going to make the game take too long. So Beanstalk comes back in. We just need to be like hyper aggressive which means just getting stuff through counter spells as fast as possible. I don't know. I don't think I can win anymore. Uh, the ring is only going to be good if the game goes long or we need to fog them, which means it's not good. So cut the ring. Same deal with Terminus. Doesn't actually help us win the game super fast. So we'll run that. This is one of the most aggravating games of Magic I've ever seen and I'm not even playing. Yeah. All right. So now we're just going to lose to the clock. I will keep any reasonable hand. Yorion. That's fine. Keep. See to the Synod. Opal. Petal, Emery, mills over a bunch of stuff. All right, sack, Petal, Chalice on one, sure. Play land, go. Stop on end step, we'll fetch uh, Xander's Lounge. 
cast thought cast targets a thing i don't know what they're targeting pedal okay end step fetch xander's land my go fetch land go odawara oh i probably should have just ley lined this but i need to ley line the chalice to not just to be able to actually play the game so thought cast jesus christ all right fetch savannah cast binding and moto is lagging like crazy oh you also have metallic rebuke come on all right whatever all right doesn't even matter land go I'm just going to run out of time. So maybe the only way I can win is like they run out of time before I do, but they're just going to play a big threat here, right? Yeah, Kappa. <sighs> Why does it ask you to declare blockers if you have no creatures in play? Why does it ask you useless things that just take up more time? Cycle, let's grab another green source, untap. Can't play anything, grab Yorion, go. Patchwork, now we're just dead, right? Yeah, we are extremely dead. Patchwork. I guess unless I draw Terminus, although I sided out Terminus, right? Yeah. Because I said, hey, we're just going to lose the game if we have to Terminus to the clock. Maybe I should have kept Terminus in. I don't know. Maybe I should have just accepted that we can't possibly win on by the clock and then just kept the deck as is. So we're dead in two hits. They have enough time left to kill us. Yeah, give you priority to flash in blockers. But like, why? So this is going to be unblockable. So we're just dead to that. So yeah, that's the game. All right. One of the most miserable matches I've ever played. On to round four. We didn't draw Uro until we were like, what? We had like 20 cards left in our deck by the time we found an actual threat that can win the game. Viewer Burrell suffering greatly after that game. Also, how have we definitely avoided hitting all of these combo decks? All right, round number four. We are on the play. Uh, this is fine, keep. So land, go. Underground, sea. Ponder. They chose to shuffle. All right, end of turn, fetch Xanders. <clears throat> play Savannah, play Beanstalk. So then you get to file days sure so i'm guessing this is grixis delver or or demir tempo because then you get to play every combo deck back to back instead of value piles back to back wasteland okay pona is deftly destroying our lands all right uh flooded strand go so i should fetch a volcanic or underground sea underground sea all right uh let's do beanstalk trigger over to them brainstorm second underground sea so if the ring doesn't get countered that's pretty good so Let's fetch, grab underground sea, land, play the ring. Plays bowmasters in response. Okay. So they hit us, then ring resolves, then draw now. All right, drown the lock's pretty good. Then over to them. Another thing that eats up time on Moto, by the way, is the whole having to manually pass priority because a lot of times you say, well, don't you just have six throats? Because you need to be able to potentially represent that you have days, force of will, etc. And that just eats up additional seconds when you have to manually tab priority through everything all right evoke grief we are fogged so they can't grief us they have seemed to seemingly forgot about that ring trigger we go to 16 all right uh let's swords this draw with the ring um let's just hold up multiple things so fetch grab volcanic so we have domain and then i can ponder all right terminus is on top so let's go land terminus drown no shuffle pass to them Brainstorm. All right. Orc army attacks us. We go to 13. Opponent fetches. Mystic Sanctuary. Putting Brainstorm, right? Ponder back on top. Hardcast Grief. I'm going to Terminus them anyway, so... But I don't want them to take another ring, so I guess I counter it. Counter... Oh, I don't actually have Drown up. I don't have Drown Mana up. All right, yeah, it resolves. I assume they just take, what, the second ring? Yeah. So take the ring. Trigger. Terminus. I would like to reveal Terminus. Cast it for a miracle. Trigger the beanstalk. Draw a card. Get rid of your guys. All right. Um, ring. Misty. Fetch. Grab Tundra. All right. They've just conceded. So it is Demir Tempo slash Reanimator, whichever one that is. So I definitely want Veil. I definitely want... Uh, Blast can't kill any of their threats, but it can kill... It can stop counters. It can be an anti-counter spell against them. And then Carpet is somewhat useful. Uh, Lavinia is only useful for stopping evoked griefs. So what is bad here? What's bad here is probably Narset. Um, that's kind of it. They might be playing Murktide. I'm not sure. Okay, we don't need Blast. Maybe I can shave a bunch of stuff. They're kind, they're at the tempo deck, so we don't need as many of these expensive cards. So Uro Counterspell seems okay, but not great. Let's get rid of that. Maybe I don't even want Force of Will. It's like card negative thing. All right. All right, that's fine. Let's submit that. Yorion, this is fine. We have turn two ley line. Underground C. Ponder. I probably just want to brainstorm now to get around 
or on their upkeep to get around uh, Bowmasters. All right, Brainstorm. So I definitely am putting Terminus back. And what's the next card after that? The Ring, so they can't Thought Seize it out of my hand this turn. All right. It was either put back the Ring or put back Leyline Binding. Maybe Drown you could make an argument for. All right, Underground C, pass with Drown up. No, well, can't Drown that. I will get to Terminus at next turn, though. Grief. Mm-hmm. Exiled Shieldred's Edict. I assume they'll take the Ring now. They took Drown. Then Grief dies. Fetches. Palantir of Orthanc. Swing with the Orcs. Palantir, no draw for you. No, do not draw. We mill, reanimate, and another thing. Doesn't matter. All right. Reveal Terminus. Cast the Terminus. And then I want to get rid of this Palantir. So fetch. I want to get rid of it now. Grab Savannah. And then Leyline. If they have Days or Force, they have Days or Force. All right. Take the Palantir. And they have conceded to that. All right. So on to the fifth and final round. On the play for round five. Um... Boy, that's awkward because I can't have swords on turn one with Counterspell on turn two. All right, I'll keep it. So I guess it's Xander's turn one and then see what we need. So Xander's go. Island, ponder. They did not shuffle. Ooh, Beanstalk. All right, I'm playing that. Let's play Beanstalk. All right, Force of Will, sure. Exiling Impulse. Okay, that tells me it's show and tell. If they're playing Impulse, it's almost certainly show and tell. Prismatic Vista, fetch. Some kind of combo deck. Storm, show and tell, one of those. All right, let's just hold up Counterspell. So pass back to them. End step Impulse, sure. Another Island. Casting Uro, sure. What is this deck that's playing Uro and Impulse? Puts another land into play. All right, I guess I'm going to try to resolve the ring. Play ring. Opponent fetches. Grabs a forest. Cycles Lorien revealed. All right, ring resolves. Draw. Over to them. So it's not a combo deck or it is a combo deck? I have no idea. Tropical Island. So get back Uro. Mm -hmm. Ring, go to 19. All right, draw with the ring. Bowmaster's Aerolingus. All right, attempt to swords this. So fetch land, fetch Tundra. I could cast Aerolingus right now. I'm going to do that. Aerolingus, done. Flusterstorm. They're main decking Flusterstorm. Okay, I have, no, well, I have no idea what this is. All right, over to them. What in the world are we playing against? They're doing nothing. All right, back to us. Take two from the ring, go to 16. Drew, drown, let's draw more. Huh. All right, I want to hit a land, so let's go loam the one land in our graveyard back to our hand. Play Delta. And I think I just want to pass with multiple things open to counter them. So if possible, I'll go to clean up and discard to Terminus. Opponent casts Brazen Borrower. Okay. Well, I'm going to flash in Bowmasters, so to kill that. Target here. So it's like blue-green value tempo? Okay. All right, end of turn, delta fetch, grab Mystic Sanctuary, put Aerolingus back on top of the deck, then ring, go to 12, no dredge, Aerolingus. Actually, I'm going to draw lands first, hopefully. Don't dredge, don't dredge, don't dredge, don't dredge. All right, wasteland, Aerolingus holding up counterspell, so red, White, this one, this one, this one. X is three. And then we have Counterspell and Force Backup. All right, go to combat. Swing. Hit them. This triggers. We become the Monarch. Then pass. Monarch trigger. Uh, yeah, I'll dredge. Nah, yeah. I'll dredge. And then clean up step. Get rid of Loam. Terminus. Ponder. Ponder. All right, I'm just going to do nothing while I continue to hit them. Yield to this. Uh, yeah, dredge this. Go to combat. Swing. Opponent takes a bunch of damage, then let's loam some lands back, play a land. Um, yeah, just pass, holding up multiple pieces of interaction. Uh, yeah, sure, dredge, then discard this, and I don't know, a land. Ancient Tomb, no idea what our opponent's doing. Um, yeah, all right, back to us, dredge this, go to combat, swing, draw with the ring. All right, play a land, play another ring, new ring. So I have new ring and I have three counter spells to get it through. All right, it resolves. Keep the new ring. Fog them. Um, let's play Narset. So that way, they, if they ha if they're trying if they try to draw their way out of it, they can't. Minus Force of Will and pass. Monarch trigger. Draw a card and then go to discard. Discard all these lands and I don't know Terminus or no Loam. Still have to discard more ring. Plays Veil. Vale. I guess I have to counter that. So let's fetch. Let's cast round on that. Counter your veil. 
if they're main decking Veil, Cunning Wish in response. What can they Cunning Wish for that matters? I guess Cunning Wish for another Veil. Sure. Cunning Wish resolves. Cast Veil. Force it. Get rid of uh, Brainstorm. All right. We win. So they're main decking Veil of Summer. They've got to be some kind of combo deck. And they're main decking Cunning Wish. So it's like blue-green show and tell. So Carpet, Veil, Blast. Um, well, let's see. Probably all of this is not good. Unless they're Omnitel or something, then Leyline can hit Omniscience, maybe. Let's just run this. Submit. All right, turn one Carpet of Flowers seems pretty good. So keep Island. Maybe I go Carpet, hold Veil up. No, all right. Fetch Bayou, because I need Bayou for Drown. So fetch Bayou, cast Carpet, Force of Will, exiling Atraxa. All right, force it back. Get rid of Lorien. Flusterstorm, all right. Boom, 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 boom. Flusterstorm, can't pay for anything. So they're blue-green show and tell. That has to be it. All right. Uh, play an island and pass. Opponent cycles Lorien revealed. Drop. All right. Play this tapped. Go. No action from them. Back to us. Just keep playing the game of chicken. Or do I just slam the ring down? I probably want to get fit through Veil. Um, I'm going to put Yorion in my hand. Even though it goes shields down on Drown, I don't think I can just be dicking around for no reason. The other thing is Mana is going to be really, really tight this game. So I want to get going with stuff now. Okay, Brainstorm, fetches with Misty, gets a Forest, casts another Brainstorm. I guess I should have left up Bayou. So my thinking was, if I left up Bayou, I could have Veiled, but by leaving up a blue source, I'm representing a counter spell, like a Spell Pierce or something, or a Flusterstorm. So they're less likely to try to go off. All right, um, let's just cast Uro, and this time I will hold up. No, I can't hold up Veil, actually. Yeah, so let's just cast Uro. So cast Uro, triggers, didn't draw another land, so... Don't put a land into play. It dies. Okay, let's cycle Lorien right now and go fetch Trop. Play Trop over to them. How's Legacy felt so far? Any specific high or low lights? Uh, the low lights are basically whenever you get paired with matchups that either feel like modern or where basically the two decks don't care about each other at all. Or even just when one of the decks doesn't care about the other deck at all. Like they just play their prison plan or their initiative creature on turn one and they do not care what the other player is doing. Uh, highlights are when you have like really interesting back and forth games with lots of decision points. Tempo mirrors are pretty interesting. Uh, I can't Uro yet, so let's just play the ring with Veil back up. So play ring, impulse in response, ring resolves. All right, draw a card, and let's ponder to try to find Force of Will. None of that's Force of Will, so I'll shuffle. All right, back over to them. Cycle Lorien revealed, gets an island. They are not doing anything. All right, over to us. Ring, we go to 20, so draw with the ring. Responding with Hull Breacher. All right, well, we'll drown that. So uh, black, it doesn't matter. We can't cast a row this turn, so uh, black and blue. Draw with the ring. Okay, so Tundra, and then I'm going to play this other Uro from my hand and leave what up? I guess Tropical Island. Yeah, Tropical Island. So play Uro, play this, this one, and this one. Triggers, put Underground Sea into play. Or I guess, no, put Delta into play. Then that dies, and then we'll just pass to them. So if at any point they start going off, we can fetch Mystic Sanctuary and put Force of Will on top of our deck and then Veil in response. Well, we can't Veil in response to that, so yeah, that resolves. Three mana, show and tell, okay. Put Yorion into play. And then there's the Omniscience, trigger Yorion, blink the ring. So can they win with the final two cards in their hand, Atraxa? <sighs> yeah, ten cards. There's Emrakul, yep. Veil's so stupid. Why does it apply to all your future spells too? So dumb. Yeah, so they're 100% show and tell. So what? Am I supposed to have Leyline binding just in case they ever show and tell in Omniscience and then I can bind it in response? I guess so. Swords, they do play Uro, but it's mostly not very good. Although they also play Hull Breacher apparently, so it is kind of good. Oh, God damn it. Because all of this is good stuff. So let's see. One of my three Uros can go Beanstalk. Is something I almost never want to tap out for. Although to be fair, I don't really want to tap out for these cantrips either. Let's cut ponder, beanstalk, uh, beanstalk. Lavinia also stops omniscience. Yeah. So that being the case, beanstalk. Now nah, just let's get rid of all the beanstalks. Um, all right, submit on the play. Well, I can fetch out some good stuff here. I have double red blast, so I'm definitely keeping. So let's go misty and then. Probably just fetching the uh, Grixis land and then Lorien for another thing. Island. All right, end of turn, fetch Xanders. 
Ooh, Lavinia. Let's run that out next turn. So play Tundra over to them. Again, let's just like never tap out. Although Lavinia doesn't actually work through a Veil of Summer. So dumb. Drop Island. All right, end of turn, cycle. I need to find green mana. So let's find Trop. So Trop, and then we'll play Lavinia. So it shuts off their forces. It also shuts off Omniscience casting stuff when they don't have a Veil. Ancient Tomb. Show and tell. Well, let's blast it. Oh my god, the problem is like they can just have... I guess no, blast gets through um, Veil. So yeah, counter this, blast it. Veil, okay. That doesn't work. Oh no, it's just countered, period. Right, the blue and black only applies to permanence. So dumb. All right, well, the only thing I can put into play is an island. Emrakul, fantastic. This is so stupid. If I draw... I was going to say if I drew um, Leyline Binding, I could beat it. But since I didn't, I'm just dead. Even if I Lorien Revealed right now to draw cards, then they attack me with Emrakul, I lose all my permanence, and then I can't untap and kill it in any way possible. So yeah, that's the game. All right. So three and two with four color or five color control in this case. Um, this obviously shouldn't be here. This should be like Seeds of Innocence or Serenity or something. And obviously I couldn't play the exact optimal version of the deck with the Force Negations and the double Bowmasters because of uh, limitations on budget. But basically that's an example of the control decks in Legacy. Um, I think that Yorion is greatly overvalued. And yeah, sure, it's a thing later in the game that you can play for from your sideboard that's like a free-ish card. Yes, you can blink up the Beanstalk or something, but it doesn't have that great synergies with your deck. And boy, making the deck 80 cards is a huge problem. Like, especially when you're trying to do things like, you know, Miracle Terminus off the top of your deck and your deck has 20 extra cards in it. That feels so bad. Aside from that, Uro, Fourth Aerolingus, Teferi... Forest, Lorien Revealed, the Cantrip, Swords, those are pretty stock. Beanstalk is also pretty stock. The one of Wasteland with the uh, Life from the Loam. I don't know if Xander's Lounge is the best Triome to get. I felt like a lot of the times I didn't want to have specifically red as part of my Triome package. Like, with only one red card main and two sideboard, maybe it's better to have a different one. I'm not sure. It also forces you, if you want a Ley Line... For one mana, it forces you to fetch Savannah as your second land, which can be a problem if you want to hold up, uh, like, Drown in the Lock, for example. Other than that, I think it was a pretty good representation of the deck. It's just a shame that it's so miserable to play on Moto. It just takes forever. All of your turns, there's so many actions to take. Even, out, even though there's no, like, combo loop, it's so many, like, Ring Trigger, Draw with the Ring, Beanstalk Trigger, Brainstorm, Put Cards Back, Ponder, Choose the Order, Fetch, Get a Mystic Sanctuary, Put a Card Back on Top, like... So, so many actions. It just makes the games take forever. And with only... Your only way of actually winning is just like 4th Aerolingus or Uro. So you win very, very slowly as well. But anyways, that is a multi-color blue-white X control deck in Legacy. <laughs>